Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can add Marqueo effect in your announcement bar. So currently you can see on my screen that this is a Shopify store and on the top header, you are seeing that th the text is sliding from right to left. So how you can do that quickly. So I will be showing you step by step that how you can add this specific effect into your Shopify store. So basically the benefit of this is that uh, this is making your uh, store little uh, attractive and customers are interested to read on the top and maybe you can add the text like you are providing some kind of sales to your customers or you are have any specific notification for your customers like your products are delayed or something like that so you can add such uh, things on the top so before continuing the video if you are no uh, if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel first so uh, let's get started so let me show you actually I have already uh, written a blog post on this so you only need to copy and paste the code and then everything is done so here I have written the code so I will be adding the link below in the description so you should just go through and uh, copy and paste the code which I will be showing you that how you will be doing in your store so if I will be refreshing this page then you will see that uh, we don't have any kind of uh, mark effect right now why because I have removed the code so now let me show you how you will be doing that so first of all you need to go to your uh, dashboard of Shopify then you need to click on customize so first of all you need to enable your uh, your announcement bar because in some cases you may have not uh, enabled this one and because of which you would not able to see on the top see that we have some uh, sections here for example header you should click over it and on the right hand side you can see that we have announcement bar so for example I am uncheck going to uncheck this and now you can see that we don't have any announcement bar on the top but if I am clicking on show announcement so in this way it would be reflecting on the top and one more thing is that home page only so uh, that means if you are interested to show this specific uh, announcement bar on uh, your home page otherwise if you are unchecking this this means that this would remain on all all the pages of your store all right then after you need to add the text which you are interested to keep on the top so i have added this text and uh, then after let's save these changes so one more thing is that if you are interested to uh, change the background of this then you should click on theme settings and then click on this and then you can change the color whichever you are interested in all right so then finally you need to click on save so this thing we have we are done with this right now we need to click on actions then click on edit code and then after you will uh, see some folders and files so here you can see that we have few folders click on layout so uh, always you keep in mind that if for the first folder you should click and then you should you will be getting any kind of file which will be related to theme like theme dash template dot liquid or maybe theme dot liquid so click over it and then you should find this tag this is a head tag all right so here on the um, this is head tag open but you need to uh, find head tag close so here down below you can see that this is head tag close head tag close means with forward slash we have here h e a d so before that we are interested we are going to add the css code so here you can see that i have already added the blog post so you only need to copy this whole line of code from top to bottom so let me copy these lines and then paste it up just above this header but before pasting that you should add some more code which is like uh, opening these braces uh, angular bracket then style this is open tag and then you should write forward slash and then again style all right so these are the two tags which you have to write first and inside of these tags you should paste that code so I'm going to paste it so now have all the lines are reflecting here all right so that means if uh, I'm going to save these changes then automatically the text would be sliding on the top so this was uh, already over there but let me refresh this page and now you can see that we are done with the thing which we were interested to implement so here you can see that we have uh, we have the sliding announcement bar so this is really good and this is really easy 
actually i did some struggle but finally i i, I created the code so i had to share with you because if you are not uh, aware of coding then still you can implement this one without any help of plugin because in some cases people are using some uh, extra apps and you already know that if you are adding some extra apps then that means your store would be more slower all right so you need you have no need to add any kind of app into your store just copy and paste the code so so in that way you could able to do all the stuff by your own even you don't know the coding all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and also like this video so thank you so much once again see you in the next video